Hello guys, in this video we will build a browser based UI that will monitor or visualize the data which is being transmitted from a temperature sensor via MQTT. The messaging protocol we use in our project is called MQTT. It is designed for constrained devices with lower bandwidth which makes it perfect for IoT applications. And these are the basic MQTT concepts. Here the device records the temperature and publish the data into a particular topic. And those devices which are subscribed to that topic will only receive the message. In this case, this laptop and the smartphone. In our example, the publisher we use is a Raspberry Pi connected to a temperature sensor. The final step is to build a browser-based UI to monitor the data. Now a little demonstration of our project. This is a Raspberry Pi connected to a temperature sensor. And this is the browser based UI which is built using Dash. It shows the current temperature. Right now it's 32 degrees Celsius. First, we'll dip the temperature sensor in hot water. You can see the temperature rising. Now it's 54 degrees Celsius. And now we will dip it in the cold water. Now the temperature is dropping. These are the components you will need. The Raspberry Pi headless setup link is given in the description below. And this is the connection diagram for the temperature sensor. Using a computer, I'm using Linux. Open a terminal and SSH into the Raspberry Pi. Type SSH pi at the rate followed by the IP address. Then type the default password which is Raspberry. Now you have access to the Raspberry Pi terminal. Now type pip install paho mqtt. Paho MQTT is the implementation of uh, the, the MQTT protocol. Next step is to clone a repository. This repository is given in the description. Copy the repository then type 
jet clone followed by the repository. Okay, now it's done. Now cd into this folder. And then run the python program temp monitor.py. If you see something like this that means uh, the program is working. So what this program does is uh, it sends the time and the corresponding temperature value. And the published topic is greenhouse forward slash temp. Now press Ctrl C to stop the program. Now the next step is to receive the published data by subscribing to the topic. For that you need to open another terminal. Next we are going to receive and store the data into a CSV file. Now clone the repository into this computer. Again the link is given in the description. Type git clone followed by the repository. Now cd into the cloned directory. listing the files now run the program temp to csv.py now the program is running and subscribe to the topic greenhouse forward slash temp but we are not receiving any sensor values from the Raspberry Pi. That's because we had stopped the program execution previously. So now go to the Raspberry Pi terminal and run the program one more time. Okay, now you can see the our computer is receiving the sensor values, time and temperature from the Raspberry Pi, and then these values are stored into a uh, into a CSV file. The data is stored into a file name called aqua.csv. Here the time and temperature is recorded. The next step is to graph the data and embed it into a web based UI. Okay, to build a web based graphical user interface. We will use a Python framework called Dash and Plotly. To install it, just copy paste the command from the description. I have already installed it. Also, 
there's an awesome tutorial on data visualization from Semtex. If you are interested, check it out. The link is given in the description below. After installing Dash and Plotly, make sure you are running the code program in Raspberry Pi Terminal. Also, the temp to csv.py on the other terminal. Okay, now for the last step, open one more terminal. And cd into the cloned directory. And then run this code plot temp.py. Okay, now we have no error, which is good. Okay, then copy this and uh, paste it to any browser of your choice. The graph gets updated every 10 seconds. You can change the frequency if you want. Okay, to change the frequency, go to the Raspberry Pi's terminal. Now to stop the program, press Ctrl and C simultaneously. Now you can edit the program by typing nano followed by the program. Now change the time dot sleep value to one second. Then press Ctrl X, press Y, press Enter, and then run the program again. Now the graph gets updated every one second.